Hey, woo! <coughs> oh, I'm dying. <coughs> Seriously. Anyway. Hey, howdy everyone, at Lost Leader here, and I'm actually uh, gonna go ahead and actually finish Undertale. Um, past this uh, route. Uh, basically, uh, last night I decided to do a little late night streaming, and I beat the neutral uh, route ending to it, and this is a little too loud. So let's go ahead and... There we go. So, as I was saying before, hey, audio everyone, Lost Leader here, and I am going to complete the pacifist route. Uh, basically what you have to do is you have to get the neutral route first, and I decided to go ahead and get that by uh, doing a little late night streaming and uh, go ahead and finishing that up. And now I'm gonna actually going to go back uh, let's make sure that I have, because I recall you actually need an item slot. So let's go ahead and actually move one of these <coughs> there. <coughs> so now I have an item slot just in case I need it, which I'm pretty sure I do. And I just, uh, I completed the neutral route and basically need to go back and you need to befriend uh, Alphys, um, which I did not, or rather you're not able to do. Uh, the first time you actually play this game. And as far as I know, no one's ever actually able to look to the passive route first. That's just not something you're able to do or something like that. It's it's weird. <laughs> <coughs> I'm dying. <clears throat> but it's pretty cool. It is it's this is a nice way to do things. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish that up then. But I don't know why it has to be like no music time, fun time, run time. There we go. That's cool. Better. Jesus, along. Okay. There we go. Ring. Hey, uh, this is Undy. Shut up, Pepperus. This was your idea. Human, you have to deliver something uh, for me. Uh, please. I'm at Snowden in front of uh, Papyrus. Uh, see ya, punk! Like, Alright then, so let's go ahead and get that, that letter that Pepper, that uh, Undy has for us. She's gonna be such a dorky dork about it. It kind of sucks that you can't really activate this beforehand, but whatever, you know? The fact of the matter is, is that it's not too hard to get all the way back. It's just a small little walkity walk away. Ah, oh, dang it. <coughs> I really hate how, like, I'm still kind of sick, but not really sick. Mostly just coughs and occasional chill, but you know, whatever. Should almost be, yeah, there we go. Gonna go down here. Go to look, care for a ride? Yes, I will ride the boat. Where would you like to go today? Let's go to Snowden. Then we're off. Off in a puff. This is so weird, like, it's a cat boat. It's not like, actually like swimming. Don't snoop behind people's houses. You might be mistaken for a trash can. This is like the weirdest things man. This, this, this game though. But yeah, we're we'll be able to finish the, the faster round, uh, faster bit route today, and I'll actually be done with this game. And wow, hey Flivy, how you doing? Uh, this is nice to see you here. I'm actually gonna get done with the game now, Flippy. I Can you believe that? I'm gonna actually get done with this game. I mean, not done, done, but you know, the, the route that I said I was gonna do. Um, so I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I, I need to deliver this letter to Doctor Office. Uh, why don't I do it myself? Um, well, uh, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so I'll tell you. Hotland sucks! I don't want to have to go over there! So here you go. You got Undy's letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you! Thanks so much! You're the best! What, what is Papyrus doing? Undy writes a lot of letters, but she can never seem to find the right words. So when she goes to deliver them herself, she always quits so she can go back and write, rewrite it. That's why she asked you! Because yeah, no standards! Oh my goodness. Would be bad. No, this is not a bad game. And in fact, I think you probably like the genocide route a lot better, because you kill a lot of characters and 
things really start to open up to, to a sadistic way. I didn't want to go to Underfall, I wanted to go to Hotland, dang it. <coughs> Hi! I got a lot of coughing fits. Yeah, 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 come on, hurry up. Five years. Oh, you're doing bad, puppy? Why are you doing bad? You shouldn't be doing bad. You should be doing doing okay or, or decent. Yes. Hot land. Get better. Puppy, are you sick like I am? Did you catch my cold? Is that what happened? That would make sense, though. I, I gotta say. I do cough a lot in, in the microphone, so... Er, obviously, that would affect you in some way. Yeah? That's how it works, right? Right? Sickness works that way? Freezing and feeling sad. Aw. Oh. oh, buddy. Well, maybe this, this will uh, go ahead and cheer you up. I, I recall this has a lot of motions. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under? No! <laughs> you slide the letter under in the door and give it a knock. I had a cold about two weeks ago and still have a cough. Aw, oh, dude, that sucks. I hate it when the cough still lingers. Aw, oh, dude. Uh, oh, no, no, no! Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can't I just slide it back out? Uh, no. I, I gotta keep doing this. Now read this one. Um, it, it's stuck kind of strongly, isn't it? But wait a second. Is is it me or is the main character yellow? The uh, main character is yellow. It's the main character is supposed to be like a bit of an androgynous person. Okay, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god! Did you write this letter? It was inside, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. And I had, I had no idea you wrote that way. Surprisingly, too. After all the gross stuff I did, I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this... And it's so passionately, too! You know what? Oh, okay. I'll do it. It's, it's the least I could do to make it up to you. Uh, yeah. Well, let's go on a date! Dating start. Question mark? Oh, so sorry. I'm still getting dressed. <laughs> oh my goodness. <coughs> How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... No, anyway, let's do this thing. Dating. Start. Uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Actually, uh, we still can't start the date yet. Dating. Stop. Um, I gotta give you items to raise your affection stats first. That'll increase the chances of a successful outcome for the date. Right? Anyway, d d d don't worry. Well, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in an optician mission for a date like this. But first, I've got some metal armor polish. Uh, uh, maybe you can't use that. But I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Uh, your, um, uh, scales. Uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I... Uh, um, hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Oh my god. The freaking Undie and and Alphys. Oh my goodness. They are such a couple. Oh my god. If that does not imply that shit, I don't know what does. Dating, start! Yeah, let's, uh, date! Oh, okay. well, is, it gonna, is it gonna start? Are you gonna... Are you gonna... Are you gonna... Uh... Do you... Like... Anime? Hell yeah, I do! Anime is the best! Hey, hey, me too! <laughs> Stupid! <laughs> me on a date. <laughs> hey, let's uh, go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? Uh, I got it! Uh, let, let's go to the garbage dump! Well... Um... Clear anime trash. Clearly. Here we are! This is where Undy and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. Hey, uh, she's really... Um, uh, oh no. That's her over there! Uh, I can't let her see me on a date with you! Why? Because, uh... Well... Oh no. Here she comes! 
Oh my goodness. Hey, there you are! I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it! Give it to me! Huh? You don't have it. Ah! Have you at least seen her? Uh... Well, yeah, I'm gonna try to shift the Padupas out of this. Yes? So she's somewhere around here. Thanks, I'll keep looking. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh... I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I I'm sorry. I just figured, y you know, it'd be f f fun to go out, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better? <sighs> well, it sounds even worse that I put in like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undai is the person I, uh, I really wanted to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. Oh my god. Freaking Animu trash. Lesbian garbage. <laughs> like little garbage. Oh my god. Not that you are, um, cool. But Undai, she's so confident and strong and funny. I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. And I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. Well, what should I do? Nah, you gotta tell people the truth. You wanna establish some sort of relationship. That's what you certainly... Because eventually it's gonna come out and it's gonna be worse if it doesn't happen, you know? The truth! But if I tell her that, she'll hate me! Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are? They say be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people wear the truth on their own. They all get hurt because of me. And how can I tell Undai the truth? I don't want to have the confidence. I'm gonna mess it up. How can I practice? Let's roleplay. Honestly, let's roleplay. Roleplay? Uh, that actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undai? Um, I want to see how she'll be as Undai, honestly, so... You'll be Undai. Me, uh, Undai. Uh, uh, okay, I'll say what I think she said, and and you um, you you show me that I'm supposed to do. Damn. Yeah. Uh, hey, Elephus, you look cute today. Uh, which I say often, but Batana because I would never like you. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, you're one hot hot babe. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, Alphys? What's gone into you? Hot <laughs> babe. How dare you call me that? First off, I'm a babe knight. <laughs> Captain of the babies. <laughs> Treat my position with respect or I will strike you down. Uh, now pretend I'm suplexing a boulder for no reason. Um, anyway, what do you want to say, Alphys? Let's tell Undy the truth. Alphys gives you a kiss. What? I would never! Alphys, what, what are you doing? I say pushing you away from me. You shouldn't kiss me. <laughs> but you're so good at it. Because of what you learned from those d d d dating games. Oh my god. She's such a doofus. I love her for that. Oh my, I just... Oh... I, I can't help but kiss you back. Come on, I'm smiling on the smooches. What did you just say? And I, I was just. Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Uh, wait a second. Are you two on a date? The uh, yes! 
I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but, I mean, actually, we were only romantically ro ro role-playing as you. What? I mean, I mean, and I, I, I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seat was, like, scientifically and every really, I just want to make ice cream. And those human history books I keep reading, they're just some dorky comic books. And the history of movies, those, those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. And that thing I told you that was, was busy with the phone at the time was just eating frozen yogurt and that, Elvis. I, I just wanted to impress you. Just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some dirty loser. Alphys? I, I, I really think you're neat, okay? Alphys. Sush. Oh, get dunk, son. Alphys, I think you're neat too, I guess. But you gotta realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading your uh, history books. To me, all that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is. You care about it. 100% at maximum power. So you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Malthus. I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training uh, you need to do that. And I, you... You're gonna train me? <sighs> what, me? Oh no. Jog boy. Now I'm gonna get, uh... Papyrus to do it. Oh no! Get those bones shaking! It's time to jog a hundred laps! Uh, hooting about how great we are! Ready, I'm about to start the timer. And I... I'll do my best. Oh my goodness. Oh my god! She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics... Those are so real, right? Anime's real, right? Oh my god! The toughest decision I had in my entire life. Is anime real or not? Anime is real. Fact. <laughs> I knew it! Gigantic swords, magic princes, magical princesses, here I come! Uh, uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. Dorcas, Molorgus. I swear. Where's all the garbage and everything? Or taking this worthless uh, garbage uh, fills you determination. Actually, let's not say it just yet. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have to go all the way back. Oh my goodness. I think the characters that I meant to bring down. Ring. <laughs> Howdy! If it isn't my good friend who trusts me! This is Papyrus! You're almost also a uh, mutual friend! Alphys and I finished our training early! Very early! So I sent her home. Very home! Uh, now... I feel strongly and for no apparent reason, you should also go... there. To her... lab... house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye! Oh my god. This game sometimes, uh, it's, it certainly is something else. Let's see if we can, if we can talk to him. I call him that during Fluffy Buns. Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it. Why don't you ever remember anything? Talk to me. Make me to help you. Let me to help you. Yes. Let's go to Hotline. 
So she freaking took us to the garbage dump just to like for a date and everything. Can't believe this this game actually has canonical lesbians in it. Just something you don't quite see, but it's just those two are such dorks. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm die believing anime is real. Oh my god. That is something else I gotta say. Oh, seriously. I wish anime was real, because, like, Jada, <laughs> one of those people that fell into an anime characters, like, I love her so much. I, uh, it's just one of those things where just, like, I didn't know we could do this, and it's one of the most important things in my life. It's a note from Alphys. Read it? Sure. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. Guys. Your support really means a lot to me, but as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This is anyone else's problem but mine. Eh, but if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You'll at least deserve to know what I did. That's what she wrote. Okay. This is not a bathroom. Huh. What was she doing in here then? Warning! Warning! Elevator losing power! M tethered, uh, tethered uh, stability lost. Altitude dropping. Well, this obviously is a good thing and only could be a good thing. Right? Right? Question mark? Oh, this is cool. Oh, wow, it got pretty creepy pretty fast. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. Um, tether? Okay. <laughs> I thought it was tether. I don't know. I read it fast. Leave me alone. That will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. <clears throat> Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be uh, derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Whoa. I have no idea what mm, tether is. <laughs> Entry number three. Uh, but extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides, being impractical, doing so would in instantly destroy the soul's uh, host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. Only I could make a monster's soul last. Whoa. Entry number five. I've done it! Using the blueprints, I have extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to proceed after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power Determination! Oh, cool Determination. It just plays such an important role. I love it. It's, it's a nice little thing that it gives. True Lavatory. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator. Lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you can read. It's a fake plant. <gasps> I'm not one of those real plants. I'm a fake plant. Just like those fake gamer grills. Buy chips for 25G. Nah, it, it's, it's fine. Power room. Let's enter the middle one. So, might as well enter the middle one. Yeah. Is that supposed to? Fine, whatever. I'll go this way. Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Wow. This is actually pretty horrific. Jeez, dude. Tree number nine. Things are going well. None of the bodies have turned to dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. 
What do I do? She had to do all this on her own? Some kind of operating table. It's sticky. Whoa! Someone has some fun times around here. It's sticky. You turn on the sink. You turn on the sink. You turn on the sink. Oh my goodness. What the frick is this? Drew near. Just whatever that is. You take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. Come join the fun. Come join the fun. What is this even? But nobody came. Uh, refuse. What if I join in on fun? You'll be left us shortly. It's a real, uh, real get together. And whatever that guy said. That's a shame. Become one of us. Oh, look who we talked. Oh my goodness. It's supposed to be a, an experiment or something? Oh, looks like an experiment. You won. There's a red key lying in the sink. You took it and put it in your keychain. Okay. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Drain. Dropped in. That's all you can read. You said a uh, lumen is m soul a dead sea, which is often used as random filler text. Really? What does what does that say backwards? Or is it just like not Italian? What is it? Latin? Like weird Latin thing? Click. The red key uh, fits perfectly into the slot. Okay. So the red key's on. I never heard of Lur at Emsum uh Dasset. That one's on, but not the other one. It's Latin. I don't know the meaning offhand. Okay, I kinda figured it was Latin. It it sounds like it. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'm just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Oh wow. Entry number thirteen. One of the bodies opened its eyes. It came back to life, essentially. Like, from what was supposed to be dead. It's an empty dog food bowl. It's a bed. So she had this many people? It seems like a comfy bed. You could probably uh, climb into it if you were to the left. That's okay. okay. Seems like a, Okay. Let's lie in it for a bit. Surely nothing will go wrong. Surely. What was that? This looks like you can lie in it. It's a fake plant. Why are <laughs> worse than gamer girls? I swear. Hashtag. <laughs> no, not hashtag laugh. Entry number fourteen. Everyone has fallen down. That's woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing's wrong. I thought they were goners. Well, you filled them with determination. The clock is broken, so they didn't give up. It's really part of a huge uh, paragraph of uh, filler text. Okay. So it's going to watch over me? This like ghost like figure. Wow, it's so slow to like actually get me. Oh, really? Come on. The first part means something like there is nobody who loves pain itself. Oh wow. Well that can't be the whole thing. I mean I know it's Latin and it could carry a big meaning, but to have like a whole sentence as like three words? I don't think so. Not like that. But you're saying like it's a, a bigger part of the paragraph? 
Oh. Oh. You tucked me in. There's something under the seats. Sure. It's a yellow key. You put it on your keychain. That's good. The rest of them look like the same. Have some beds and whatnot. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster's soul when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters, just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Golden flowers. Flowey, of course. Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessel are, are a failure. They seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever. They're a hassle to work with anyway. The seats just stick to you and won't let go. Oh my goodness! What the heck? Oh my... What is this? Um, pray, pick on. Um, you hum a familiar tune, but no one heard you. <sighs> something, something hope. Oh my goodness. This really is supposed to be like a creep and pasta sort of thing. What the- What is it doing?! It just like- The butterflies eat their face! Mystify clean. Uh, let's clean it. You wash your hands. Nothing happens. Where made my choices of. Oh my goodness! It is now like one with a butterfly! Holy but you will. Mystify. You did something mysterious. Pontry, well, coma, comma, recognize it more to learn from this world. Or is it enough? Something. This is, like, it's not creepy creepy, but it is creepy. It's one of those things. Pray? You need to pray for safety. Remember its, it's contents. Said enough. Oh my goodness. Ah, dang it, I got hit again. Looks like I still can't spare it. But, uh, Kama already remembered his consciousness. Dang it! Aww. Don't lose hope, lost. Stay determined. Will do. Oh, gee. Oh, I think I gotta do everything all over again. That's what I get for not saving. Thankfully, I know how to like get everywhere. P fast. No big D. Oh yeah, anything. I gotta turn them all on, and then I'll just do them the last one. Okay. Fair enough. Such a weird thing. Jeez, uh, please do. This is something else. It's like all the attacks are like kind of creepy, but not too creepy. It's one of those things. There we go. Get the key. Like that. Boom shakalakos. This time we're gonna actually save, that way I don't have to go through this again. If I die. 
because, you know, that kind of backtracking this way is just kind of stupid. Stupid though. Like, it's just, like, the right amount of creepy, because, like, if you, like, play this as a kid, which I'm sure there are people out there that play this, have, or playing this game as a child, um, they definitely be creeped out. Like, this is something that would creep me out as a kid. Okay. Go down here first. Entry number 15. Seems like this research was a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls and the vessel back to Asgore. And I called all the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Happy face. Okay. Entry number 16. No, 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 no. Whoa. Well, something obviously happened. There's a green key lying in the bathtub. He took it and peeled on your keychain. Watch, watch. Really? Nothing? Oh my goodness. It smells like sweet lemons. What? Lemon bread? That's lemon bread? Call. Oh. You called for help, but nobody came. Welcome to the special hell! Oh my gosh. Oh, you flush your arm, lemon bread's muscle shake. That's what they all say! Out, but nobody came. Stay here with me. Ah, oh, oh, dang it. Ugh. A lot of creepy, like monster-esque people around here and whatnot. All right. I almost have all the keys, though. Considering. Entry number 11. Now that Manitons uh, made it big, he never talks to me anymore. I have to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. I wish I had nachos. Why do you wish you had nachos? Nacho cheese. And then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really, really sweaty. The heck? There's a switch on the wall. I'm sure I'll press it. Like, like they all have like flowers of a place and like laugh to it. Is there, are these like pieces of, of flowery? It's an almagamate. It looks like a bunch of little kitties in like a lampshade. Again, pet. Just pet the air. What is? It just it doesn't even ignore. You try it looking away, but it seems to uh, appear everywhere you look. I haven't had nachos for quite a while, and all I uh, have is a beef flavored uh, crisps. Oh my goodness! What the fuck is this? Play. Of course, is the last option I choose. Do you call uh? Do you call the Alma Gamate? It it bombs towards you, flexing a strange liquid of a orifice. Achi. Oh, Achi, oh, dude. Hovering close. You pet the uh, Agamate. It, com 
excuses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Z, 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 z. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls uh, wildly on the walls. What the frack? Gee, dude. Oh my. Still got me. You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. Malga mate uh, beat, uh, brings it back to you. Proudly? Repeat this process a few times. Malga me is very tired. It leans its stripping or orifice uh, body on you. Still can't do anything, it's twitching. No more. You try looking away, but it appears everywhere. It's a cat's only cat uh, who knows where it's at. Oh my god, everybody wants to be a cat. <laughs> oh no. Um, let's try petting it again. You pet the Agame, it starts to generate a state, a stage of happiness uh, for it. It, it keeps going faster and faster. And just, are you are you trying to excite it as much as possible? We'll say uh, ton. Okay. You pet decisively. The Agame seems to be satisfied by all this. You won. All right then. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> Weird freaking thing, dude. Oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and save that real quick. Try getting this one over here. Jeez, dude. Now this is that, this is certainly body horror, but like in a tasteful way, quote unquote. Like it's just like it's not quite, but it's definitely implied, like so heavily. Let's pray first so he gets his conscience back. That is just like the creepiest thing to me though, is that it just kind of like does that where their whole entire head is going away. What we do is pick on it. Pick on it. It seemed effective enough. Oh my goodness! Fine, pick up. Did you did you notice that they were they were cats? Yeah, I did. I could have sworn I said that they were cats. It's just kind of like one of those weird things, cause like it acts like a cat dog or whatever, like a bunch of cats together and everything. Mystify. Someone finally gets it. Ribbit, ribbit, courage. So it's like a mix between like a bunch of monsters. I like it's fair enough. We have buddy. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Cold. That's all you can read. Some kind of switch. There's a blue uh, colored slot in the center. I don't have a blue key. I think that's like the one key I don't have. Or rather can't get, currently. So I know I can get the green key. I should probably get that right now. So let's get the green key and then uh, go back to saving. And this is a not genocide run. A genocide run is definitely way creepier. And it's certainly something that I want to do like later on. Because I think uh, that would be particularly fun. It's an empty bathtub. Okay. Because this is definitely like on the levels of Gygus was in terms of creepiness. Which I know, I know, Flippy, you don't particularly like Earthbound, but you gotta admit that that particular fight certainly disturbed a number of kids. Like, it just, it, it's one of those things where it's just, it's something that could kind of scar you, and just, it makes it even more memorable because of that. Click. The yellow key fits perfectly into the slot. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Under sheets. And that's all you can read. There are a bunch of VHSs. Seems like it's mostly cartoons at some time. There's a VHS player with a few tapes uh, picked out beside it. 
seem to be labeled on Pacific Order. Do you want one? Sure. Gory, wake up! Um, what is it, dear? Er, and why do you have that video camera? Shh! You want to get your reaction! Gory, dearest! What is my favorite vegetable? Um, carrots, right? No, 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 no. My favorite vegetable is... Ed mommy. Get it? Uh, go back to bed, dearie. No, 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 not yet. <laughs> now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Um, I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be... A Marinian. <laughs> oh, that, oh. Jeez. That was the intent, I think. The director said that he wanted to convey the feelings that he had a uh, wandering into a wrong room as a cinema as a kid and saw something grotesque. Well, yeah, that's what I mean, you know? <laughs> you sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be the famous Momedian. Uh, well, I, I am going to bed. Hey, come on. Tori, that one was funny. <laughs> I know, I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh, dear? The rest is too dark in here for the baby to come out. Aww. That's cute. That's just kind of what I mean, though, is that there's a certain, like, difference between kid creepy and, like, adult creepy. It's just, like, one of those things that you can't really con convey too well in a lot of things. But it, like, it could be done. It was so, so funny she didn't laugh. Oh my goodness. Okay, lost. Are you ready? Do your creepy face. Ah! <laughs> oh, wait. I had the lens cap on. What? They're not gonna do it again. Come on, quit tricking me. Okay. Let's take three. Howdy, lost. Smile for the camera. Ha! <laughs> this time I got you. I left the cap on on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. <laughs> What? Oh, yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter. We accidentally put in butter cups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. It was so bad. We made Mom upset. I, sh I should have laughed it off like you did. Uh, anyway, where are you going with this? Be turn out the camera. Uh, okay. <coughs> Why? I... I don't like this idea, Lost. What? Uh, no, I'm not. Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I, I never doubt you, Lost. Never. Y yeah, we'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Lost, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Lost, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Lost, please, wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I... I... Oh, I said... I said I never doubt you. Six, right? We just had to get six. And we'll do it together, right? Dude. There are a bunch of VHSs. It seems like it's mostly cartoons at some time. They seem to be alphabetized, save for a few straight, sticky ones. Oh my goodness! Office, what are you doing? Entry number four. I've been researching humans to see if I could find any info about their souls. I have snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Azor has watched them. I don't think he should. Jeez, dude. Let's save real quick. Jeez, man. 
I definitely say Undertale's like way creeper than Earthbound. I, I would actually put Undertale over Earthbound, in my opinion, because the way the combat system just it's better, I think, personally, and the story's crafted better. Mother 3, I'm not so sure, because I haven't played Mother 3 necessarily, but I've watched it and it was it was something else. So not necessarily like over Mother 3, I would say, but I'm sure I'm sure you're Flippy, you have your own opinion about this. Um, is it at least growing on you, Flippy? You flexed your arm. Oh, Red's a muscle shake. <laughs> Welcome to my special hell! <coughs> Jeez, dude. Okay. Unhug. You let Lemon Bread be. Lemon Bread's uh, teeth shake. Do you think I'm pretty? I haven't played Mother 3. Oh, you should, dude! Um, just for a bit, or at least watch it or something, you know? Ah, oh, jeez, dude, like, he just does so much. But nobody came. It smells like sweet lemons. <laughs> I really, uh, I got really bored with Earthbound. I know, you keep saying that, but Mother 3 is a different game. It just is. And it's one of the few games that I'm actually like, yeah, go ahead and rom the hell out of it or whatever, because Ten of America is not doing it, and neither is Europe, I think. Undertale might be better than Earthbound. It probably is. Like, the whole entire series. I would, I, like, I personally think so. This guy sounds so weird. You know, I'm a familiar too. Lemon Bread uh, seems to remember something. I felt this before. Oh, geez, like, there's like no like invincibility period now. Like it just instantly like I get hit and that's it. I still won't buy it though. Undertale? That's fine. You can just like watch whatever this is. But, you do kind of know, Flippy, is that this game is definitely, like, it, it's two different games in one. Depending on what you do. I suppose three games, but, like, honestly, he's gonna do, like, just a neutral route. When you could do a passive route and then a genocide route, or vice versa. Because a, genocid, a genocide route is definitely a different game in comparison. It's not, it's not too different, but it, it does make it so you should play it again. DT Extraction and Machine. Status inactive. Yep, I know. Okay. <clears throat> I would say at least play the demo, Flippy. So just kind of like, fill the combat or something. Well, you don't have to, obviously. Yeah. Tree number 19. Balance keep calling me to ask, uh, when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say to them? I don't even answer the phone anymore. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. <clears throat> Entry number 20. The score left me five messages today. More about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup you found out that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. Uh, no time, really. Alright. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Entry number 21. I spent all my time at the gar uh, garbage dump now. It's my element. <laughs> Freaking Kazanime trash, my food is. The refrigerator seems to contain samples of some kind. Oh, jeez, dude. It's creepy little things. It's so cold. Another Algamite. I'll laugh. You laugh, and keep laughing. It's so funny. You can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't do that. Snowy. <coughs> it's so cold. Between making levels and Super Mario World translating and trying to beat other games, I still have a third left of uh, Dragon Quest V. Woo! Dragon Quest V! Dragon Quest V is better than this game. But that's only because I am incredibly biased towards Dragon Quest. 
I said something like, You look horrible. Why are you even alive? What? You didn't say that? Snowy. Oh, joke. You told a bound fun about snow. Your expression starts to shift. Uh, I remember. Still can. Wow. But it's not funny. Oh, dang it. What is with... You call this a performance? A snowy. What the frick, dude? Snowy. Tell another joke. You told a bad button about snow. Your friend changes more. Uh, thank you. I guess I, guess I gotta keep telling her more, more jokes. You told a bad button about snow. She's completely calm now. You won! Yay! Oh, man, I got a blue thing. Add in, click. The green key fits perfectly into the slot. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Curtain. That's all you can read. <clears throat> Jeez, dude, like. Wow, we. Salad. So there's this thing. Actually, this this reminds me of the flowy thing. The the flowy soul little thing. So that that's where it came from. Did I put it in? <laughs> I guess I did. I still need to put the blue key in. Like all the way over there. Gotcha, dude. Five years to get over here. Five years, five hours, five days. Come on, hurry up. Jesus, take forever. God, there's no run button. I just noticed that. There we go. So now we got all the keys in, so we could actually keep going. Probably find uh, Alphys. <clears throat> there we go. If only you had a bicycle. Now's not the time for that, Flippy! Jeez. Did you learn anything from Pokemon? Save over here. <laughs> now we don't have to keep walking. <coughs> Seems like another elevator has lost its power. Seems to be turned off. Seems to be turned off. Seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on? Sure. These creations coming to get me. You just have like a, a null respection. Hey, stop! I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. Um. Anyway, the power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on, but it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This is probably just a big inconvenience for you. But I appreciate that you came back here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. That's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to, to tell the truth. That I might run away or, or do something. Cowardly. Uh, uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Oscorp asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated the power and I called determination. Uh, I injected it into dying monsters who, so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what phys physicality they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted it together into those. Save them like this. I knew. I couldn't tell their families about it. 
I couldn't tell anyone about it. No, no matter how much everyone's asking me, I was too afraid to do any more work, you know, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. But it's going to be hard. Being honest, believing in myself. Hi. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sure there'll be times uh, where I'll struggle. I'm sure there'll be times when I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Jeez. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet, because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. A flower from outside the world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder, what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? Sheet number 18. The flower's gone. So, yeah. That's Flowey's origin. She gave Flowey the determination to ring. It's a voice you have never heard before. Lost, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Lost. See you soon. You know what worries me about the Wii U? What worries me about the Wii U, Flippy? Something happened to your gamepad, you can't replace it without buying an entire system. Yeah, that's that makes me worry too.